observation is my job, my life, my whole persona. And it's my job. Nice little swing to the water's edge, but another form of strike you can do, and what he's going to do 
is launched vertically upwards straight up and out of the water. So we call it the tail walk. The reason why we have this ramp, it looks a bit like a surfing trick, but it's not. It's something they do literally as soon as they hatch out of their egg. You can imagine they look pretty much the same as this, but they're tiny. They're about 15 to 10 minutes long. Super cute, super tiny. And they start to do, whoosh, it's just jumps. He starts to do this in the reeds, overhanging the water, launching himself upwards. So he locks onto the food item, he sees the movement, he launches up, he grabs it, he pulls back into the water. So when he's tiny, he's taking things like insects and small reptiles, but he does it until he's this size and even bigger, still getting over half his body length. I missed that one, mate. Could you just jump into here? Uh, no, no way. No way. I'm not grabbing that. Well, oh, he's still keen, isn't he? You can see now they are so reactive to movement. But what we're going to try and do here, since he missed that one, let's give him another opportunity to have a good little snack. Hey, big boy. Now, what we want to do here, now that he's done a few good solid strikes from the water's edge, we want to dispel a bit of a myth. People reckon crocodiles will come and bolt out of the water and just keep running. People think that they'll just chase and chase and chase and chase. But look at that. Once he's done that initial strike, I'm walking backwards quicker than he can come forwards. I can even sit down in front of it, and I'm not in much danger. I can even put my money over my mouth because I can lay down in front of it. I can lay down in front of it. Yeah. He doesn't care. I'm not going to stay here very long, but he doesn't really care. But look at what happens if I go towards his water. What do you think? What do you think, Monty? Can I touch your water? What do you reckon? See, as soon as you hit his water, that's when he gets keen. And that's when he's keen to put on a strike. And that's because crocodiles are feel like a torpedo. Look at his tail there. Really long tail, very short little stumpy legs. And he's got a bit of a round belly. He likes his tucker, there's nothing wrong with that. So he really is built like a missile. He's not built like a greyhound. He's not a racehorse. You really don't have to worry too much once you're out of that strike range. Back where Nero and I are, we're just fine. And Monty knows he's got no chance of grabbing us. But, very clearly, as you approach the water, and break that rule, you touch the water, and start messing around in here, that's what keys him on. He goes into that stalk, he goes into that predatory mode, and have a look there. He comes up, he reveals just a little bit of his eyes. You're right, you're right. And then he puts on that strike. Now, you can see really closely here, look at his head. He's got 64 teeth in that head there. Now, those are designed like bullets. They're not designed to, you know, shred meat like a shark. They're designed to hold, to crunch. 3,000 pounds per square inch of closing pressure backs up his bite. Whatever he grabs, it's not going anywhere. So, the lesson is simple. To protect ourselves and to protect crocodiles, all you have to do is this. That's it, it's not rocket science. You just gotta take a few steps back. Now, if we can protect ourselves around crocodiles in crocodile territory, we're also gonna be doing a great thing for the animal themselves. Every time someone gets grabbed, people want them removed. People want to, to kill them, to cull them out of the, out of the area. And every single time it happens, someone gets grabbed, they find the biggest croc and they shoot it. What does that achieve? Absolutely nothing. You'll never get rid of all crocodiles. They move around far too much. By killing a croc, all you're doing is destabilizing the ecosystem. And it is a dangerous way of thinking. The best way to be safe around crocodiles, not by managing crocs, it's by managing our own behavior. All you gotta do is take a few steps back and we'll be able to protect these guys for the future generations. Crocodiles being the top of the food chain, they are the most crucial animal in the ecosystem. If we decide to remove them, everything in our northern waterways will suffer greatly. So it's our responsibility together to love and appreciate these animals. Thank you very much for being here today, for helping to uh, spread awareness about these gorgeous animals. We don't need to hate them or fear them. As Australians, we should feel a lot of pride that we get to share territory with dinosaurs. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? And importantly, by being here today, you're continuing the legacy of the greatest wildlife warrior on the planet. The bloke on the big screen, he had such a huge affinity for crocodiles. And on behalf of our whole team, it is such an honor to get to continue the legacy of my dad. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Cross the road, everyone.